Welcome one and all to our Spring Semester 2020 Student Awards Ceremony. We are glad that you're here to help us recognize and give thanks for the calling, special gifts, and wondrous work of God in the lives of Beeson students, most of whom deserve to be recognized today, but a few of whom have been chosen by the faculty for special commendation, for hard work in the service of the Lord. In just a few days, 29 Beeson students will be graduated and sent with our blessing into the world for service to the church. We couldn't be more pleased with their love of God and neighbor and their readiness and eagerness to serve as humble laborers in the vineyard of the Lord. So before we announce the recipients of this year's student awards, let me ask you to join me in prayer for all of our graduates. O oh Lord, we do give you thanks and praise for the wondrous work you've done in these dear students. We ask you, Lord, to give them all the grace they need to serve you faithfully as they head into your church and serve your people. Stir up in them, Lord, joy and peace as they trust in you for everything. Bless their efforts, we pray. For Jesus' sake, amen. My dear brother, Chris Morgan, I recognize this day the high honor that you have been um, awarded and the place in which you have achieved this honor, the James Earl Massey Preaching Award. I thank God for you because you epitomize Dr. James Earl Massey in so many ways, even at this young age. Like Dr. James Earl Massey, there is proclamation in your sermon in that you initiate people into the faith for salvation. Like James Earl Massey, there's teaching in your sermons because he instructed people about the faith in order that they might reach the place of maturation. And like James Earl Massey, there is therapy in your sermons because you inspire people to keep the faith even in times of difficulty like these times. I thank God for the moments we've shared in the office, in the classroom, or the phone, over the phone, praying and um, studying. And my prayer for you is that you will continue what God has started in you. Father, I do thank you for Chris, and I ask that you will continue to bless his life and ministry, and that you will do exceeding abundantly above all he could ask to think for your glory and for his edification and for the people that he is ministering to. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you, my brother. It is my privilege to present the award for history and doctrine to the student who has shown ability to read primary texts with uh, sympathy and acuity and to relate them to the rest of the history of Christian thought. This student has also shown us who teach in this sequence a love for the gospel, a dedication to the gospel, as well as a desire to serve the Church of Jesus Christ with his intellectual gifts. Therefore, it is my privilege to announce that we have awarded this prize to Luke Miller. Luke, congratulations, and let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for the gifts you've given Luke. We thank you for the training the last few years at Beeson that you've given him. We pray that you'd give him discernment to know the future steps uh, in his career. We pray that you give him discernment, that he might know about whether it be possibly future study and what kind of future ministry and we pray your blessing on those future steps. In Jesus' name. It's my pleasure to present the Pastoral Ministry Award. This award is given to a student whose calling and character exemplifies Christian ministry and the study of pastoral theology. The student receiving this award does not stand above and apart from his fellow students, but in his humility and devotion and discipline 
and commitment is a fitting representative of our Beeson students. The recipient of this year's award goes to Mark Rector. Mark is the college minister at Brookwood Baptist Church. He's married to Annie, and they have a young son named Joshua. His personal character, Mark's character, is really one with the gospel message. And his devotion to Christ is one with the mission of the church. Mark embodies the Apostle Paul's mission statement when he said, We proclaim Christ, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we might present them mature in Christ. We're thankful for Mark and for the years that he's had at Beeson, and we do pray for him uh, as he goes forward. Will you pray with me? We thank you, Lord, for the evidence of your grace and mercy in Mark's life. We pray that the diligence and devotion and discipline that he has shown at Beeson will characterize a lifetime of gospel ministry and resilient faithfulness. We pray that the power and love of the gospel will be the reason for his success and that his impact on people will be attributed to Christ alone. We pray for your continued blessing on Mark, along with Annie and Joshua. We ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello. It is my pleasure to announce today the winner of the William M. Todd Award in Biblical Languages. This award is given to a student at Beeson Divinity School who has excelled in both the Greek and Hebrew languages of the Bible. The award has been uh, decided on by the professors of Beeson who teach in those areas of, of Greek and Hebrew. And so, without further ado, I want to say that the winner for this award in 2020 is Emily Hall. Emily, I am so delighted to be able to announce that you are the winner of this award. Uh, we as a faculty, those who teach uh, Greek and Hebrew, have uh, gotten together and talked about different students who were worthy of this award, but we thought you were at the very top. And so my hearty congratulations. May I tell you a few of the things that some of the professors have said about you. Uh, Frank Tillman said the following. He said that he had you in a mentor group for a year, and he would say that not only are you a good linguist, but a kind, caring person with a strong desire to communicate the truth of God's word to others. Ken Matthews, for whom you taught a class in Old Testament, said that you did a great job teaching the class and that although you are very bright, he did not sense any jealousy by the students. Rather, they receive your teaching gladly and you show humility and a quiet spirit that is welcoming to your peers. Margin Alette says the following, she is about as good a linguist as I've seen come through Beeson. And Emily, I could echo those words and say many more things. Um, so congratulations on our behalf. We are looking forward to see what God is gonna do through you in your future. We already know what he's doing through your life now. Uh, and the truth is that we are honored that you chose to come to Beeson and let us teach you for a period in your life. So may I pray for you as we send you off. Almighty God, who calls your servants to help and bless and as gifts for the church, we give you thanks and pray for your servant, Emily. We pray that you would protect her from all evil, that you would guide her steps, that you would be preparing places where she will minister for you. We pray that you will provide for all her needs and that you will bless, bless her richly in her life. We pray that you would continue to fill her with your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the great gifts that you have given Emily and above all things for the love for Christ and for his church that she has demonstrated. We ask that you would go with her and bless her every step. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you, Emily. The most distinguished student award is given annually to a graduating senior who stands out from the rest in his or her overall achievement in the realms of scholarship, spiritual life, and ministry involvement. 
And this year's winner of the Most Distinguished Student Award is known for his boundless curiosity and passion for learning. One of his professors calls him the most energetic and enthusiastic student of the Bible I have ever taught. Another says, I've seen no other student in all my years of teaching who more consistently exhibits the thoroughgoing, faithful worship of the Lord that is necessary for ministry. Yet another describes him simply as a conduit of life to the Beeson community. His keen intellect is complemented by a deep love of God, fellow students, the people in his church, and his wonderful wife, Ashley. Please join me in congratulating Taylor Brazil. Let's pray for Taylor. Lord, thank you for gifting Taylor with such a profound love of learning, with such a profound love for you and your word and your people. Please bless him, Lord, we pray, as he continues to serve your church. Build him up, strengthen him, give him all the energy and grace he needs to be faithful in ministry. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for tuning in to this year's Student Awards Ceremony. We hope that it has encouraged you. We ask you to join us in praying for all of our Beeson students and supporting them financially and personally as well. And I ask you to join me in prayer one more time as we bring this service to a conclusion. Lord, please bless these students for Jesus' sake. Please help them as they head out to serve your church. Please deepen their faith. Please expand their hope. Please fill them with all the love you can give them and help them to overflow that love into the lives of those around them. We pray these things in Jesus' name, amen.